Oh man, oh man. Where are going? I am Dingo Star, aka Freshly Snipes, aka Cassius Matthias. Thomas Matthew Crooks was identified by the. And I'm gonna get right into it like I always do. He was 20 years old and a resident. No. A predominantly white and white uh, man, I don't know where to start with this thing. Donald Trump assassination, right? Crooks was a registered Republican, according to Pennsylvania. The voters. shooter. He graduated from Bethel Park. Name what? In 2022. Despite Matthew registration, Crooks made a Cooks. $15 donation to the liberal. He has a first name, action committee, a middle name, and a last name. Okay. The day President Joe I have a first name, a middle name, and a last name. years old. Prior to his what? registration as a Republican, what I want to know is why is it that whenever someone shoots at a president or is successful at taking a president out, they're remembered by their first, middle, and last name? So if I say who shot Abraham Lincoln, y'all know his name, right? John Wilkes Booth, right? Now if I I say who shot Kennedy? Yeah, I know his name, right? Lee Harvey Oswald. Don't y'all think that's kind of weird that all these people that be trying to take out a president or does take out a president, they're forever marked in history with the first, middle, and last name? That's kind of weird to me. All right. What also is kind of weird to me is that need the public's help 130 and yards out to identify any information please and the, the secret FBI service did not see this guy the phone number 1-800 call fbi they didn't see this guy 130 yards out on the roof FBI. in broad daylight brawling daylight that doesn't seem right but it to me it seems like the secret service allowed him to do that and another thing is 130 yards out with a rifle and a scope that's nothing that is an easy shot 130 yards out a headshot that's easy peasy you could put that bullet right in his nose you could put that bullet right in his forehead from 130 yards out that's nothing with a rifle but he just grazed his ear too much and too you know, too many coincidences in this thing you know the truth is going to come out eventually maybe 10 20 30 years from now who knows but right now today i'm not buying none of this i don't buy it this is all for tv man this is all for for distractions or something but something is going on and they want y'all looking that way when y'all should be looking this way i'm dingo star aka freshly snipes aka cassius matthias and i'm out to be kidding me. let me say something right now take this to the bank okay that person was allowed to scale that roof okay i am not some individual who's trying to assess situation and have never been around the president of the United states while trump was in office okay i have was around him a lot a lot and let me tell you something the Secret Service, there is no person that can get around the perimeter of the Secret Service where, where Donald Trump is without them being aware of it. I am not kidding when I say that my husband once almost got shot by the Secret Service because he came down a staircase. I was speaking at the NRA, NRA and he snaked in and came down and they didn't know who he was. And they were like, freeze, 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 freeze. Like, we will shoot you right now. So you're telling me that guy walked up and was trying to get the attention. The Secret Service saw him, and he's pointing, and he's saying, this guy's got a gun, this guy's got a gun, and they're pretending they don't know what's going on? I mean, am, am I crazy? Do you guys actually believe this was a failure in intelligence? All of these Secret Service agents crawling around, and you don't think just what that guy said, said that is common sense, okay? They're trying to now tell us that common sense is a conspiracy. That is the new thing that they're trying to sell to the public. Common sense is a conspiracy. You're telling me this guy was able to walk up with a rifle in his hand and scale a roof, and you don't think the Secret Service, and let me tell you, they get there days before. Let me tell you how a security apparatus is supposed to run. Days before, they get in and they look at every possible angle in which somebody could hurt the president.
Okay, and I'm not even talking about once you get to the Secret Service. I'm talking about if you just have security in general before you speak, they will go. Hey, this is the stage. Okay, let me tell you, that right there is a problem. They'll mark that as a spot. That right there is a problem. That part, we need to know who this person is. They'll knock on doors. Okay, they got to figure out every possible angle that any individual could potentially get on a roof because you know what? This has happened in the past. People have been shot from roofs. People have been shot from windows. There is a 0% chance that some random person with a rifle was able to scale a roof uh, uh, unless there was just an unbelievable failure in intelligence. And you want to know why it's unbelievable? Because I don't have to believe it.